Yes guys and welcome back to AJ Cards and welcome back to another video on the M140. Now in today's video what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through the top 5 best, cheapest mods to change the look of your M140. Now really quick before we get into the video, yes I am ill so if I do sound a bit horrible that is why there is an illness going around right now and I'm the one of the people with it. So back to the video, the M140. The five best mods you can do to this car on the cheap. Now there is loads of mods you can do for these cars. There is so much potential, but of course, everyone has the usual options to go for. And we're gonna go for a few of them, but a few different ones as well. Now looking at this M140, you're probably thinking it looks the same as every other M140. Just not as modified. And don't worry, we will get there with this car, but these are the top five cheapest mods you can do and a few of them are on this car already so we're going to go through a few of them now so sit back enjoy the video and let's get into the first one now the first thing that i do want to go into is the bars on the front you can wrap these you can buy covers for these these are actually covers i did install them in the last video i showed you the best way to do this so if you did want to do this check that video out as well and you'll be able to do this the most efficient way and if you do go back and watch that video you'll see these are just covers so you literally buy them as a cover and you just clip them on to the bars behind there you can have the option of wrapping them i know a lot of people do that they basically take these grills out and then they just put some wrap over it wrap over the back it doesn't need to be perfect you only see that front facing part but i think that is a pretty good mod to do because it looks quite cool it looks kind of aggressive especially when you're looking at it directly on you can see them, especially if they're colour matched. If it's a black car, you might not be able to see them. So a lot of people go like blue or something. I think that's a pretty cool touch to have on the front end of the car. So that is the first cheap mod. £10 for them covers or £10 for some wrap if you want to do a bit of DIY yourself. That is a nice, cheap first mod. Now, it's quite difficult to determine what is cheap. I know you can say they're the best mods, but you don't exactly know what is cheap for everybody. Now, this video is going to be everything under £100. That to me is a nice cheap mod for a car without pushing the boat out too much. We will go through a few that are just over, but the main video will be everything under £100. And that brings me on to my next one, which is yellow DRLs for the headlight. Now, I don't actually have yellow DRLs on this at the minute, but I do intend on getting them in the future because I do think it's a nice, cool mod to have. And it makes that front end look really, really aggressive. I just have the normal LED bright white ones, but again, I do intend on switching them out. Now, these yellow DRLs are pretty finicky to fit, you could say. You do have to take the headlights out because I know on a lot of the new ones, you can just change the module on the top of the headlight but these ones unfortunately don't have the module on the top they have it on the back so you will have to take that headlight or you might be able to reach it from inside the arch liner but it's not too bad you either have to get the front end off or you have to take the arch liner out i'm not entirely sure but i'll be finding that out very soon because i do want to put these on it's not the easiest of thing to do but it is a nice cool mod whether you pay someone to do it or you do it yourself Chances are you're going to do it yourself. You can get these for around £60. They go up and down. There is some on there for £30. There is some on there for £100. They're in between that sort of number, which is quite good to change that headlight drastically. Now we're going to come away from the front end and we're going to go towards the side of the car and we're going to focus on these mirror caps. You can get these mirror caps for about £15. You can get them in gloss black or you can get them in carbon fibre. Carbon fibre, don't get me wrong, isn't going to be real. You cannot expect a real carbon fibre for £15. But the gloss black ones look perfectly fine as they are. Most cars come with gloss black mirror covers anyway. These come with like a silvery coloured one. I wasn't a fan, so I got them. But I think they are a nice little touch. They're like an M mirror, M style. I Meaning a lot of people hate them because it's not an M car. I think they look okay on the car. It's not the best mod, but it is a nice cheap mod for you to put on your M140. Now, the next one we're going to go into is the splitter kit. Now, these rear spats you can get for as low as £12. Now, body kits on the M140 have been out now for a few years, and a lot of companies do these body kits. So, everyone is working off the same sort of mold so whether it's 12 pounds or it's 100 pounds a lot of them are going to be very very similar in shape and style so 12 pound isn't that bad to get some rear spats on the car 
but you don't just want to get the rear spats you also want to get the side splitters as well you don't want to just stay with the rear you want the sides and of course you can get these sides for anywhere between 30 and 100 pounds again a lot of companies make a bunch of different styles i just went for the standard strip and they are pretty damn cheap again 30 to 100 pounds for the sides 12 pound for the rears and to finish it off you do want the front splitter now there is a ton of front splitters a ton of different styles i went for the three piece just that simple flat finish on the side and that cost me 60 pounds so under 100 pound 60 pound is still really cheap for a front splitter especially one that looks as decent as that and they all match really well together so to have a full splitter kit you've got 60 pound for a front splitter let's say in between we'll say 60 pound for side skirts and 12 pounds for the rear spats that is 130 135 pounds for a full split kit on an m140 i would say that is probably the best mod you can do and for pretty damn cheap for a full splitter kit you can do the front splitter alone you can do the side splitters alone or you can do the rear spats alone it's all cheap as chips now of course i did say at the start there are a few that are just outside the price cap that we set at 100 pounds now there is two on the rear and we're going to start with the diffuser the diffuser everyone goes to this same diffuser and it is the best looking diffuser and that is why these you can get for around about 150 pounds now it does change the look of the rear quite a lot i would definitely recommend getting one at some point if you can stretch that extra bit i would definitely say get a rear diffuser and get this one in particular because they do look the best and it goes really well with the rear spats and the splitter kit it just makes it look more aggressive with them fins in the middle makes it look a little bit more modified and on top of the rear diffuser we'll go into the second one which is m performance exhaust tips now you don't have to get these exhaust tips it will look just as good on the rear without them but i do think it adds a little bit more to the rears you can pick up a set of these m performance exhaust tips if you want the carbon ones you're looking at around 100 to 150 there are a bunch of different options m performance isn't the only option you can just get carbon you can get black you can get satin there is quite a lot you can get it's all down to personal preference but again they are just outside of the price bracket that we set so if you wanted to stretch to get a little bit more on the rear end i would definitely say a diffuser and exhaust tips are the way to go now the last one that we're going to go into and it is still on the rear and it is this the spoiler if you watch my last video you will see that i put this on it is so simple to put on you literally uh, just click on the last video you'll see exactly how to put these on it is so simple yet so effective Having a spoiler on the back of your car makes all the difference in my opinion. You can have these things on the bottom, but if you don't have the spoiler, it just doesn't match right. Now you can get these spoilers for literally 60 pounds, 55 pounds. That spoiler there, I'll put it on the screen, cost me, I'm pretty sure it was 55 pounds and they fit fantastic. So to get yourself a cheap mod, get that spoiler because that for me finishes off. If you're gonna get all of the other bits that I said, that spoiler will finish off the look really, really nice. Don't forget, you can get this in carbon fiber. Not everything is gloss black. I went for gloss black because I like that look, especially with the white. But you can get this in carbon fiber. You just have to stretch a little bit more for the price. But I think that looks really good and it really makes up the rear of the car. Now, if you're watching this video because you plan on buying an M140 in the near future, before you buy it from anywhere, make sure you check out Vogue Automotive. They are a BMW independent dealership and they buy and sell loads and loads of M140s and they are always high quality BMWs. So before you go anywhere, make sure you check out Vogue Automotive. I'll leave their links in the description down below. So that is going to be it for today's video. That is the top five best cheap mods for your m140 if you did enjoy this content make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and drop a comment as well on what i should do to this car next so i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video